hi everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and guess what today we got html css and a little bit of javascript so we are basically working on the front end if you're into front end don't wait don't wait so uh today what we got right now is um i don't know if you've heard about front end mentor well uh what happens is that these guys give you projects to work on for free assignments to work on for free if you want to up your game in front end this is what you gotta do so what i'm gonna ask you right now is to go ahead and um go to front end mentor and then uh, i'm gonna put the link in the description below and then sign up i'm most probably sure they will ask for your github so you're gonna need your github because eventually at the end of the day you're gonna need your github to sign up i mean to show off your source code okay and then on top of that you will need to create like a netlify or heroku you know whatever um because you will need to show off your project to your friends and family so without further ado let's get into it so that's the project we're going to be working on today and um, this is like a, a sort of like a, an overview of what we shall be working with it's sort of like a, a, a single page application you're free you know what i like about front end mentor you are free to use any library any library any framework in a library what do i mean you're free to use bootstrap you're free to use um, um react you're free to use angular you're free to use anything you're comfortable with but guess what today we are gonna be working with the basics like html css and vanilla javascript for the like the menu you know the interaction so um what happens is that like you work on a project with this website with these guys you work on a project and then submit it and then your fellow developers will react to your project and give you you know suggestions on what to improve and whatnot so i feel like that's uh that's uh that's that's uh, a nice platform to really show off your skills you learn from your mistakes you learn from yourself and you learn from other developers which is pretty impressive so without further ado let's go ahead uh let me walk you through how this works so um what you do is this is the project right here um you'll be able to see it like um it's gonna be in the junior section um and it's gonna be testing for your html css and javascript and then um, they're gonna give you all the designs, the images, the assets that you will need for this project. And um, um, yeah, that's that's it. What else do you need? So um, so uh, when you get get into the project, there this is a lot of stuff you need to read through. Um, um, just go ahead and um, start the project. So download the starter pack. And um, that's gonna contain all the assets and everything in there. And then um, our project is all set. Um, I'll go ahead and unzip that folder and then I'll open that in, um, I, I use VS Code, um, which is, you're free to use any code editor that you prefer, but um, I'll, I'll basically use VS Code. So when I pull that over here, um, you will uh, you will notice. So we're gonna do some house cleaning over here. So this is the project right now, and for some reason it's not showing, but which is interesting. So if I go ahead. I'll open that project again, right? Let's enjoy the music. It's a class. Mm. Either way, either way it works. So we could 
potentially Customize this in whichever way you prefer, my friends. So this wheel, uh, I'll call it main uh, details. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that first part. Um, it was a lot of stuff i pumped into you but um i hope you know it all makes sense feel free to pause and then uh, look at the code look at the um source code that you just downloaded from uh front end mentor and then acquaint yourself with what's going on um so yeah um what i normally do i minimize all these that i don't need at the moment that way I can get a feel of um, achievement after getting down with a particular section. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is to focus on the header section. And then after that, we shall move forward to the main section. Okay, um, all right. So we have um, a lot of... Okay, so um, within uh, the logo, we, sh we shall use the image tag, right? And um, I'll need to look that up. Look that up. Let's see. So we have the image is snap. And I'll have to pull that up. Let's see it's in images okay so first of all you need to pay attention to uh, where you are so we are in the index file right so the index file is is at the same level or directory with the images so um, that means we shall start with like a dot and then um logo okay we got it okay we got it we got it we got it we got it so dot and then images and then i think it was called logo.svg okay so the you can use this option or you can uh, there are two options all right so um what i normally do is to get into the svg because it's easier to customize that way you don't need to struggle with a lot of uh, css so we don't need this right now we don't need this right now you've got that so instead of using the that we can use that right and still the same thing okay so if you haven't worked with svgs normally um you would svgs give you um if i go ahead and maximize this you know they have like you know these little uh colors that you can come around and play with black background color um colors and width so normally if you need to customize the width uh, of this image you would sort of like add that attribute around there but in this case everything just fits right on and uh, let's move ahead to the next section so in the next we have looks like we shall need uh, um, how many are those those are about three Four, right? So you can say that is four, and then um, we have all this content over here. So I could use this option, or I could use. Wait. 
so it looks like our everything is coming out as we expect okay so we have that 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 okay cool um we shall style everything later on and then we've got the plant login and um And use two buttons login and then all right and then register third and then I'll give this and register okay that okay so it looks like this section is all done at the moment right so there are two options here from here okay we can decide to dive into the CSS and get done with this section or we can move forward and do the whole setup make the whole setup and then later on decide the CSS which is better working with the in, uh, HTML and later on designing or it depends it depends on the project you're working on some project could be super complex and you need to design right away because things can get messed up okay but this is a simple project so let's move ahead so I would minimize that so that's cleared okay um, let me note down that okay moving on to the uh, main section so when we look at this we uh, we made um, you know the main section which is this part and then the image which is this part so the image is gonna be easy okay the image is gonna be easy but we need these um, when you look at that, it looks like we can design those in uh, more sections, all right? But it looks like this is also another, this is also part of this section. So um, I will make four of those, okay? First one, you've got a header one. Come on, come on, come on. And it looks like my okay, okay. So uh, it looks like my auto complete is not active, it's hating on me. So we're done with that. Then we make. Okay. Then what else we got? We got a uh, something like a paragraph. I'll explain to you why. Um, or maybe uh, okay. Uh, let me let me let you know why uh, I made everything into personally. That's me you can feel free to just to um just instead of uh um putting everything in a div section you can um uh, pretty much uh just put everything down here you know uh down here in the without creating more div sections but the reason that's why i make more divs is because it's easier to work with divs right you can you know add more css and you know tinker around with the text and um, elements inside that div so it's 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 to me it's uh, uh more comfortable to me than fighting around with paragraphs just to you know throw them on the end of the whatever so end of the div section or the start so it's 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 pretty much easier to me to um so We'll need a button, and then that's learn more. I like 
copying what they've given me here and I just cut it right because that way I'm quite sure that um, um, you know I'm, I'm like completing a task so it looks like everything they gave us is all done and um, our last div section will contain images okay so these look to be like sponsors and um, the way I would do that is creating more I don't know with this one okay that worked all right mm -hmm. so let's see our sponsors okay we've got one sponsor over here and okay audio file okay database okay 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 you know what guys um i'm gonna do the same thing okay i'm gonna do the same thing so i'll i'll, I'll leave i'll take this oh how did i forget to add a class so this main main oh guys help me out uh, which name will i use in this we mm, i'll name it main paragraph or maybe main sub heading makes more sense okay and then so here we have main sponsors okay can we get those ones with sponsors because they look like sponsors okay and then in here since i want to make it clean i'll put everything in a div section right So we shall get we we've got database. Database, come over here, my friend. We need you. We need you. Okay. Did it come? Okay. That's cool. That's sorted. And then who is that? Audio. Audio. I'm just copying hey guys oh sorry um i'm just copying the svg um for those who are using um for those who are using uh visual studio code um i i'm pretty sure you'll be able to follow along with me but what i'm doing is that i'm just clicking on that image so normally the image would display like so, right? Something like this, okay? But if you um, click on uh, uh, an SVG, it's gonna show up some code. So just copy that code and then ins paste that code in here. All right, that's the, uh, uh, pretty much what I'm doing. Yeah, I understand this is gonna be a lot of chaos you can as well just um you can also just paste your code inside uh, i mean svgs without without um pretty much um putting them in a div but uh these these are my divs and um left with the last so the one is it's a maker so maker client maker that looks to be the one and then I'm setting it that so these are our, our sponsors right yeah, it's so good when you 
comment out your and I can't spell but you know at least I'm getting the job done guys I'm doing a great job here I'm doing some work okay <laughs> Alright, it looks like that's done. Then all we're left with is an image where this is where we are. Okay, with this image we shall not need any more div sections. So let's see. Where are you buddy? Where are you? This looks to be our desktop, okay, desktop image, okay. So, mm, like we said, guys, in that, that, and then, what was it called again? It was just something like a uh, hero, hero, okay, hero desktop. Go. hello my friends i hope you enjoyed our previous session where we were working with the templating of the html right now we are getting into the css that's my favorite part as a frontline developer let's get into it so um this is where we stopped last time and um if i could pull up the picture where the design um as you can see we have pretty much not fun stuff let's get into the fun stuff so let's start with the header section okay this is what we're gonna start with so i'm gonna open up my Okay, and I can pull this side by side, which is pretty impressive. All right, so now we can work with, uh, you know, things that we, okay, with our image, there we go. Okay, we have the header section. Okay, this is a tag. We don't need to call it any name. Okay, hold on before even all that so we can okay okay that's the whole page and then we... okay and then for some reason i can't spell a gap of one rim and then moving forward so now we are getting inside the header tag okay so in the header tag we have the logo um and then what you can that's why i said you need to pay attention to this because it you're gonna be reusing the same thing all over again okay so, mm -hmm. so uh, in this case, we don't need uh, a space between. We just need to center them so that um, actually, no, we don't need to center them. We need now, in this case, to use a flex start. Okay. So the reason as why well we're using a flex start is we're saying that okay, display everything in a flex style okay like a gangster style and then because the flex is like a flexible style and then everything is in raw format and then justify content remember justify content whenever you're using raw then justify content is like horizontal so there's this attribute whereby you can use flex stat. So you're saying, since I'm, I'm, I'm displaying everything on in a flexible format, I want to display the contents in that class, in that division. I want to display everything at the start of that flexible 
um, flexible division. Okay, so this is there's a flex start, there's a flex end, there's center. Okay, if you want to start style anything at the start of a division, then that's flex start. If you want to this um, in a row format, in a row format. Uh, a rough direction so if you want to des uh, design anything at the end then flex end then at the center then simply center it okay that's it so um moving forward um and then uh vertical that would be it then normally you would since so the gap the reason as to why this gap is needed is because you want to create a gap it's like so margin but this works better when you're using display flex or display anything okay so you're saying um the gap between this section and this section should be one rem but it looks like in this case mm, one may not be enough because when you look at this this is far okay however we can also say, uh, in this case, you can also say uh, space between, okay? But then, but then, but then, you can then change the width of this. Because when you look at this, it's pushing it at the end. So what you gotta do is give this width and then give this a width as well so when you look at this this is like a, you can give it like a like a 60 okay like a 60 a 60 may make sense okay so if you make it a 60 okay see it's moving if you make it a 50 percent see it's also moving and then also there's also another attribute where you can just use flex flex just simply flex and then so it's a uh, when you use flex flex is normally like one to five so so when you give this like a like a three and then you give the other one two you know it's like you're still using um percentages so you can play around with this you can look up these very attributes on the developer mozilla website to get more details but uh in this case i'll use um you know width to make more sense in that case so that when i get into the client section right around here one thing i didn't tell you is that for those i know um, i mean intermediate developers who are people who are you know well uh people who are comfortable with css they will know this but um uh, those who are just starting out when you whenever you create a class to um, to create a style for a class you use a dot but for those if you create an ID then you use a hashtag okay hashtag don't forget that use a hashtag okay um moving forward so this so since this was 50 percent we can uh, okay this is also gonna be 50 percent so we are essentially dividing this section and this section into 50 percent essentially you can also say flex one for this and flex one for this same thing okay play around with these things they they, they will make sense to you okay so um when we look at the so this we when you look at this, this is not center this is not space between space between won't make sense that's center okay so you see those are all centered right there um, okay center there um, okay let's see what else makes sense so this is figured out this is figured out uh, one thing I want to make sure that this does not look like it's centered, okay? It doesn't look like it's centered. It, it looks like, I mean, it doesn't look like it's a space between. It looks like it's a space. Okay, feel free to, to, to like, play around with this. 
when you use space around see that's gonna move that i think i will use um and for guys i'm working with the logo details um i will use because when you look at this everything is at the start okay it's at the start so i think i will use um flex okay start flex start okay and then try that that works perfect which is what we want mm -hmm. we create some uniformity then the, that's the gap that i was telling you about okay so this is figured out this is figured out this is figured out this is figured out my friends okay so it looks like this inner section has some margins at the end so let's move backwards a little bit so when you look at this 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 okay okay so what we are gonna do is get everything in here and then, uh, call it like a nav menu then paste back what we got initially um the reason that's why i'm doing this is because i want to um specifically work on everything inside okay i want to work on whatever that is inside but then that's gonna change our initial perspective okay initial agenda um, okay so it looks like we shall get everything in here copy it in the nav menu then this will not be i'll give it a width of one of 80 percent but you know 80 percent and then give it a margin of i'll explain this in a few uh 10 percent margin left and then margin right of uh 10 percent okay and then uh, so what are we doing here guys i know um okay let me explain this i, I know this is a sort of uh okay so when we look at this is like uh, 80 percent is too much okay so let's make it like a 90 percent okay 90 percent okay that, that that's uh that's uh that's uh pretty pretty nice okay so that looks pretty 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 cool okay so um to refresh back guys um this is what we i know this was a lot of try and error and as developers that's what you're gonna be doing every day every day try and test and redo and you know all that kind of stuff so what did we do here just a recap um so in the header section i understand i changed everything so this will also change okay and you see it does not affect anything what happened here guys it was a lot it was a lot that happened but i did this because i'm experienced and i know what i was doing but let me explain to you what happened so in the header section okay because i wanted to create some gap between the edges okay option one i could pad left whatever initially on the initial code that you had i could pad left and right right but because from my experience that creates some issues when you get into the mobile app view okay you can go around it i'm not saying it's the end of the day but you can go around it but it's 
much easier when you create a child element inside the header section. That way, the header section, the header section is 100%. Okay? So it's invisible. Right now it's invisible. Let me give you, an, let me show you what I'm doing. I normally do this when I'm testing my code, okay? Without even opening the console. So look at this. And then let me give you uh, a bigger picture of what's going on, okay? Let me give this blue. You are gonna see something mind blowing, okay? This makes more sense. All right, so the header section, because I wanted, when you look at our design, things are somewhat in between, all right? Because I wanted to sort of like, my, 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 the idea was like to add some margins at the, at the sides, okay? So, the best way to do that is to create a div section under the header section, okay? And that way, you can create the div section under the header section, okay? You can create a div section under the header section and that give that div section a width of 80, maybe 80 or 70, depending on what you want, 80 or 70 or anything you want, okay? That way, the header section is still 100%, but then the child element is 80%. And then give margins. So whenever you create like a, a width of uh, something, always add the margins because you're, 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 you're making the width to become smaller. So if you create a width, if you make the width to get smaller, then just make the um, margins margins if you've used word before then you would get the sense of what this means so the margin the margin from the left from the left give it five uh, five percent because you've made it 90 so you're left with 10 percent on either or on like 10 percent divided by two that is five percent on either side okay so you're putting five percent on this side five percent on this side and then the 90 percent is at the center makes sense Let's get it to it. This is getting more fun, okay? So these colors were making more sense of what we were doing. Let's go ahead and remove these colors, okay? Because that was like, um, um, you know, somewhere to test our CSS. So it looks like our, our header is almost getting there. So we've designed, we shall not this gap, we shall not need the gap because we only need one div section. We only have one div section under the header, so we don't need to gap anything in between. So, oh, no, 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 no. I think I deleted the wrong one. We shall not need this one. Okay. Then you can, mm, you can make the height to be just auto because what are you saying when you do this? You're saying the height should be depend on the height on the text on the font size or the image size in that div section okay makes sense okay moving forward okay so then we are at the logo details what was our logo details logo details is this section with this and this so let's also give it a height of uh, auto should be automatic okay then let's also do this auto, okay? Or you can give it 100%. Either way, it works. Mm -hmm. So uh, minimal, let's minimize this. This looks great. One thing I'm thinking about is uh, pushing these at the end, okay? Pushing them at the end. So it looks like in the client, we have everything centered. But if, okay, where is our client, guys? Our client is this. Has two buttons. And then we shall flex and end. Then looks like things are moving towards that. 
then the gap is too big that makes more sense or maybe two makes more sense then moving forward into these uh, um, uh, the un un unlisted so um, let's do that right around here okay so we have only one unordered list and that will so if to remove the the uh, the dots we shall use that and then it looks like everything is working as expected but when you look at these my dear when you look at these it looks like our phones are automatically off so let's take a break and then we are gonna get into the fonts the text and everything right now we are done with pretty much the menu and we are moving on to the next steps thank you for staying this long and uh, i look forward to seeing you in the next video ciao welcome back guys i just got myself a glass of water mm. Oh, that's good okay moving forward moving forward so um the last time we the last time we had uh, pretty much got done with the the number uh, left with uh, pretty much the buttons so these are the buttons that are gonna be used um, when you look at these buttons they are pretty much the same hmm Whenever you're working on buttons, always think of how can I create one button that can be used everywhere. In this case, it looks like we have no option. So there are going to be several buttons right around here. So we have a button that has no color. We have a button that has a background color. We have a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mix of things. So we have no option, okay? We have no option, but um, for starters, how can we generalize this? It looks like it looks like um, looks like every button is gonna have like some different class. When you have like a website that has like several buttons, but at this added the same, just make one class for that button and use that class for every button okay in this case when we look back here um good enough we had customized everything so we have client and then register so we can potentially um so when we uh, let's start with wait was it the one just want to make sure Okay, that's login it makes sense here i'm gonna split the screens okay we have login but then now we can see what our login is here if we squeeze that a little bit because that's what we need most so our login how oh, our our login okay so first of all let's just take out that outline let's just take out that uh, border okay if i added a, a padding of one rim what happens that's what i want to see how does it expand okay <clears throat> so to do that 
if you look at all these buttons, they seem to sort of like um, inherit something in in common. So inheritors, those who are not addictive of oriented programming. But um, so um, to we shall do that and then give them all of the let's say 1.5 maybe that is that good enough hold on so do you so this helps us not to repeat ourselves so let's try ram and see okay that works okay then let's try width the ground color will be that one pixel solid and then that's a unique color so before we move forward when you go into the readme style guide okay let's expand this so uh, there are some colors they give you here which is uh, impressive from these guys okay so um this is so the, the, they're saying the the color which is gonna be what we were calling white is almost white it's not white um so this okay we shall not this so hey come on get over here Since we know that, now we can get into. This is the part where I told you that if you need to customize anything about your background, about your body, like something that you would want to be general, that's what you would do. Okay, now we've achieved that. So this looks to be the color that is on the borders of the buttons. Okay, is that? Looks like. Looks like. It looks like. We'll see, we'll see, okay? We'll see, that sh that's something small that should be. So they're saying the font, font size of all. Um, so font size, this is how you, everything that is in the font, the, that's in the body, we'll get that text, that font size didn't see pretty much a change but okay so this this, uh, this is the part i was waiting for so customizing um i mean the color okay the color of hold on we need to customize the font weight let's see if that font weight 500 okay The reason that's why I was getting to this is, this is the um, Google, uh, these are the Google fonts they're using for this website, okay? These are the fonts they're using for this website. So if we follow this link, okay, it will lead us to that and then we shall need 500 and 700, okay? So let's get into 500, which is pretty much here buddy we shall need you uh, let's see are there any previous colors no okay buddy we shall need you and then we need 700 uh, 700 should be around here 
so now that we've got that get into import and then copy only this okay we don't need that the rest of that then get into our style then at the top most link that to that and if I'm not mistaken the fonts should change okay let's see let's see if we had some effects so undo this do we get any change my friends what just happened we are not getting any change because you haven't applied the font okay <laughs> we are not applying the font itself so this get into this i want you to see there we go there we go my friends there we go my friends okay so it looks like 500 is gonna be the best for everything okay looks good looks good looks good looks good moving forward okay now that we know this will be our black for the next button okay so uh, we'll remember that okay um we, we'll come back to that we shall come back to that but we've added the fonts that's ticked checked off the um we've added the, some of the colors and we're left with this color and i believe this color is gonna be for the um for the button and the header okay and that will be pretty much okay so let's see where 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 were we now that we don't need that and this can expand a little so let's see where were we so these these the header moving back to the header the header has an almost black almost black So when we move here, then we can say uh, let's review, can say maybe one frame. Mm -hmm. That works perfect. And then, or maybe, or maybe, 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 um, it depends, you know like with css it's all about testing and getting a feel of what we so you can do that to this or you can actually what i feel best is padding the child's inside in uh, the child inside the header okay so uh, we can pad this let's see if we pad um all the elements in there but not padding the not padding the left and right because we really applied some margins mm, i don't know what was this padding button sorry so that's versa but now what does that is that when you hover over any button you know brings out a pointer so uh, this login section we have no okay we have no border that's good that's good that's what we have okay that's good that's good okay Let's see, can we do three? Let's open this. 
that's too much too much for me okay so it looks like the header is all done my friends we're getting done with that so now moving forward to the moving forward to um to this section okay the beauty of you know creating a button and you can use that button to adjust you can adjust that button whatever you want it is you know using sort of an in, an inheritance sort of approach is so now i don't need to customize explicitly for this button so um now moving forward to our main section okay so our main section hmm, when we look at this the topography we have two major div sections So we have two major div sections and I'll just come back here. Mm, I'll just come back here and use my original, like I explained to you guys, like, okay. So this will be 500%. Okay, so now let's let's um record this in our minds uh, in our brain that we we need to this is this is a section this is a section okay and this is a section all right so we need to this flex direction row so now that we've got that so we are almost there we can reduce this to one percent and reduce this and change this to center so row center okay looks like everything is good okay now we are getting deeper now okay so everything is now centered uh one thing i want to make sure that i want to know that what is the div this this is more than two percent this is more than one percent okay maybe three okay would that be your uh, so don't worry about this image which is now protruding into everything so uh, it looks like when we look at this um when you look at this it looks like everything is this center. so let's first let's first before so since everything is now is centered right we can decide to remember i told you about how uh, align items works it aligns items vertically so let's try to flex everything at the start at the start of the div so that worked out well So let's see. So now we need some because it's a massive space in between here. Okay. There's a massive space in between there. What we are gonna do is to we can decide to Seems quite reasonable. Okay, and maybe four. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Okay. One thing I want to pay attention to is this bit of.
episodes. I want to see how this comes out. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Because I was seeing some bug on this button. So that's fixed. I changed. I removed the grid. Okay. And uh, now, okay. Now, um, I don't need to deal with the width to affect our wordings in there. All right, my friends. So let's see. Let's move forward. Okay, so we need um, before we worry about this, we need to gap everything that is inside this HTML. So, so gap main gap. Okay, we've got into okay, okay, that was the gap in between these two. Then now we are getting into these whereby we have the main header okay this is main details okay main details so we shall copy Copy, sorry about that. Then display column. Okay, this is where now the fun comes in. Now we're using column to display everything in here. Okay, then this seems pretty. Maybe let's first leave it there. Height is auto, padding is get out of our way. Okay, I'll explain this in a few. So, what happened is that we had um, we had not paid attention to we had not paid attention to um, the main with it. So it was one hundred percent, and that's why we had to use bricks and then stuff. And, you know, which sometimes is not convenient for mobile views, but um, yeah, so um, good, we were able to catch that error. Uh, not error, we were able to, you know, use that trick to resolve that issue. So now, um, text can automatically, you know, format. Okay, which is good, okay? That's dope. Okay, now moving forward, okay, let's squeeze this image so we can get out, get out of our way before that maybe let's focus on this button okay button um, I'll keep this like this then we can go to the mobile later okay so we pretty much need the HTML the CSS okay let's see what's happening here okay okay so, so 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 when we look at this is done this is done the button what's that learn more button okay then any button that is in there that's in case you only have one button okay it, it, it does the same thing i think this is i'll explicitly just work with it then since it has pretty much the major styling, I will um, go back to in here was sort of a baby and it's gonna be bullied among these guys so let's try to add something like that okay buddy 
Okay, we get the point. <laughs> okay, let's try four. Four makes sense. Yeah. Four makes perfect sense. Okay. There we go. Looks like everything is really working out as we expect so moving back to the buttons of course we shall not use that we shall use something like in 10 pixels So moving on to the picture, which is in the car. So this is fixed. Main picture. Main picture should. As you know guys, we are trying to we are trying to uh, equalize everything in here. So it should be about the uh, party or the margin. We could. We could pad each and every single item in here. Okay. Let's see. Padding.
that will not work. However, you can go around it. And give this ten. The total screen is a hundred. So we're giving the head a ten. We're giving the and we are giving the rest of the thing so that way we do not need to position anything absolute problem solved good job guys That's the beauty of partitioning all of these, like making a, a like a block, a block topography layout foundation, breaking every single component into like major components. That way you can simplify your tasks. Pretty much simple. Simple. Simply. Okay. Uh, so Let's customize these attributes. These they are not impressive. The text are not impressive at all. I wouldn't be impressed if I and anchor tags. We, or rather, what we could do is just get every anchor tag. Okay, every anchor tag. And then give it this style. So we've got every anchor tag and we've redesigned it to that. And then that way we do not need this anymore. And then that way we could Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going off, um, this is not what the project says, but, um, just customizing it because, you know, this is, uh, This is more of um, CSS tutorial, okay? So, if you try 500, 700 will be better. Okay? So, we could... Uh, also, add something like like this. So.
Kalofe. When this specific button is hovered over, it should still say nothing. It's just the button. Okay. When the land mall is explicitly We could do two pigs. Let's see if it works. That works. Pretty much, that's pretty much, and now we shall be getting into the mobile design. This, hello, guys, welcome back to the last part of the video. I mean, this challenge we're gonna be designing the mobile view of the web application without further ado let's get into it i'll get this to test if this works cool that works so What we're gonna do is to look for the header.
veins I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say I'm up again, I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend That's right, in the AM that's my only friend No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time, I choose stacking dimes You snooze half the time while I move passing by uh. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh, da, 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 da.